Hello YouTube family, James Green, short series shenanigans. Trying to get everything set up. So, gonna do something unique. Uh, what we've got is, I've talked to you guys about in the other video, a friend of mine, give Rebel a shout out, fellow veteran here. Um, this isn't the barber chair that we're gonna be doing the big work on. This is another one he had. I've got it here in front of me fixtured up. Something. I guess this is a barber chair he uses, and he's got a barber shop here in Albuquerque over on the east side, or there on the northeast heights from what I understand. Anyway, he's like, hey, I was taking it apart, it broke, can you fix this? So he brought it over, I posted pictures on social media of the weld setup prep, and I was using cast art because I hadn't used this, I had purchased this. I haven't used this brand of cast art, and this was a very unique setup. Uh, you can see here. I'll show you guys there um didn't bottom line is and i didn't post pictures of it because i got in a hurry last night um it didn't hold uh drop back 10 yards and punt um he's more concerned about function ability than looks um this you can only run it maximum amperage on this is they say is about 85 amps i was running at about 70 but it didn't hold uh, i wanted to try this first um i hadn't used this brand a whole lot so i've done it in the past is we've brazed or this we're going to do what i should have done is what i'm going to show you now we were busy visiting and talking and instead of me paying attention to what i should have been doing cause to come back not a big deal so we're gonna preheat I'm gonna show you guys pull up here uh, I veed it out uh, got rid of the old uh, so the chromes removed got rid of the old uh, nickel rod that was in there and we're gonna go back we're gonna preheat we're gonna use silicon bronze 330 seconds and TIG we're gonna preheat I'll show you guys real close here what we got let me get the camera around here and you guys can see so what I did is I set and fixtured up uh, there's actually a little quarter 20 hole here with a set screw so what I did first uh, because I had some aluminum it's one inch I happen to have this here I picked this up recently and it's got four or three bolt holes on this side everything's been cleaned off it's already been preheated it's cast steel cast iron cast material um so we're going to come in here and i'm going to create i'm going to make tacks try to first so that i don't have this uh aluminum causing problems i don't know we're going to see uh when we get done we'll take this off and we'll even grind out underneath and fill in from the back side as well too um but there happens to be how this there's a set screw because this literally sets on a piece of his barber chair and we've got it out so it worked great i drilled and tapped quarter 20 because this is threaded thread it to through to that work perfect you know I spent a lot of time doing setup it was still set up uh, we've got it set we've got it really veed out deep we're gonna preheat this thing so very unique setup um, because I've got to do a lot of welding like this and some other stuff and I plan on doing the what we're doing here with silicon bronze the new parts I make but that's going to be a different barber chair rebuild whatever matter of fact i've got the big cold roll stuff over here we're going to make of that's not it this is something else unique stuff guys um i'm going to set you back here and i'll give you a peek it's not done yet i'm working on it because everybody wants to know i've been posting pictures on social media uh the anvil the mega anvil i got the horn i still got to do some build up here on that side and that side and then we've got to shape the horn and there's more gussets that has to go i know i've had a lot of people say you're going to destroy the casters these are temporary right now until i get bigger ones i might have four jack legs that actually go down when i get ready to beat on this thing so it won't the it, the wheels will come off the ground that's not done that's a work in progress but i figured i'd give you guys kind of show you what's going on that thing right now is easily 450 four 450 pounds so lots of stuff the strike face that's on there the big 12 inch square stuff is either the 4140 or 4130 uh plate now i know for a fact the big horn on the end is 4140 uh, h or heat treated hot heavy thick google it look it up so i'm going to back you guys up we're going to get started i got the garage door open so you guys can get a good view make sure i got you in frame there 
lock the camera down. Okay, let's get started. We're going to preheat this thing. Uh, I have my handy dandy digital thermometer here. Right now our current temperature is 78 or 80, 80 degrees. Okay, I don't know if that'll show up on camera or not, but there we go. We're going to use this to determine our temperature. We're going to get 350 to 400. Um, we'll go ahead and get everything ready here. I've already got TIG welder set up. So we're going to be running at 200 amps because this is thick. We're going to preheat. I figured I'd just go ahead and have it. That way I can throttle back. And let's get started. I'm just going to start going at it here. Got gas going on. I'm going to heat this puppy up and get going. Take much, but we're gonna. And I've got a blanket to put over this after we get done. You know, I could braze this off the acetyl braze, but I want to take it.
360. So we're 363. Move that out of the way. Let's go ahead and get started. And you guys got a good deal there. Turn that on. done yesterday pull my tungsten out just a little bit running a 332nd 2% lanthanated big piece of carbon rod that big. That would have been the ideal thing, but he needs this up and running, so you can see 
we had it drilled in tap quarter 20. Set this right down here on the floor. here on top before I take and twist it over a little bit so we can build up on it. Now that we got that clamp out of the way, One too many times. Not a big deal. I've already got some sharpened ready to go. And they are right here. Let that cool and then I'm going to rotate it a little bit and I'll show you guys here shortly. this up and then I'm going to shape it down but and I'll post pictures on social media of this it'll be on Facebook and Instagram and stuff like that so all right so what we're going to do is I'm just going to rotate this a little bit like that way having big chunks of aluminum and stuff like this handy. on the top and then heat it and kind of let it run down a little bit.
here. So this last little bit is right here at an angle. Literally. I know you guys can't see it, but I'll show you when I get done. But I need to lay some right here. Kind of make sure it molded in good with all the uh, surrounding material. straight argon. Flip it now and then I'll readjust the camera for you guys. I know everybody wants to see. I want you to see. I'm going to put a little bit right on here. I'm going to build up a little bit. You guys can see that. Okay, good. Trying to 
build this up for both of And we'll smooth it all out afterwards. guys up here a little bit. There you go. I will post pictures of this later on social media. Facebook, Instagram. So there you go. TIG welding silicon bronze with the Lincoln TIG 200 square wave. Great stuff. Shout out to my buddy Rubble. And I've got some viewer mail that arrived. I'll do that in a later video, guys. I did get it. I got a bunch of Sharpie markers, whoever sent them. So thanks. I appreciate it, you guys. Take care of yourself and take care of family because remember, at the end of the day, family is all you got. And shout out to my buddy, uh, Brad Jacobs, basement shop guy, Maple Lane Machine Tool there in Pennsylvania. You guys take care. Get out in the shop, TIG weld on some cast material with silicon bronze. This stuff is fun. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.